What's up YouTube? This is All Things Quick. So we're back with another video. Back in the shop again. And this time we have a E90 in here, but I am not actually doing anything with this today. I was diagnosing this car and seeing what's wrong with it. This car was going to be mine, but I decided against it. And what I'm going to do instead is while I'm building this B30 engine, the three liter, while I'm building this thing, I am going to start taking apart this B25 here, the 2.5 liter, and we're going to fix the head gasket on it that's gone wrong. I'm going to redo the oil drain on the turbo for the oil pan down here because that's super janky and I'm gonna make it right now that the engines out and I'm gonna make this thing run nicely I'm gonna redo the timing and whatever has to be done after the head gasket so that's the order of business today I got a list of stuff on my clipboard here of stuff that's wrong with this car so that's diagnosed that's done all I had to do with this was diagnosis so this is gonna be out the door then I can pull this engine out and then put it out in the middle so I can work on it and we're gonna start disassembling some stuff because I need to get Get this thing fixed and in the car as soon as physically possible so i'm gonna pull this car out and get right to that also i ordered a bunch of parts so i am waiting for some parts for the three liter engine but i also had some pistons coming from russia and unfortunately it came all the way to where pretty much i live like an hour and a half away and then they declined it and they sent it back to russia so i'm going to have to source out some american pistons once i can do that then i can get some valves and then i can start machining this thing but in the meantime I want a car to drive. I want a car that's boosted. And we're going to also put it on a dyno and tune it. So that is coming up in the near future. Not in this video, but in the near future. So definitely stay tuned for that because that's going to be a thing. See? Look at here. E90s are nice. There's a couple of stupid things that are on an E90. But anyways, this is a push start. Also, I got this little project that I got going on. I got this bike from a customer and uh, basically he said if you can fix it, then you can have it if you can get it started. Got it fixed, took the carburetor apart, cleaned it out, got it started, put the choke on it. Yeah, it's just a nice little two-stroke thing. Goes about, I don't know, 45K or so. So it's a good little ripper. All right, so here is the order of business. What I need to do is I need to take the head off. Well, I need to take the valve cover off. Got to get the head off so the camera shafts, the, the lifters, to take off the timing chain cover, I gotta take off the crankshaft pulley. Basically the head has to come off and then I'm gonna flip the thing upside down. I think I'm pretty sure this engine is drained but I'm not a hundred percent but I think that it is. If it's not drained I'll drain it first but then I'll flip it upside down, take the oil pan off so then I can start working on that, that right there. there. But basically I need the head off. Once the head is off, then I can inspect the head gasket and see what's actually went wrong with it. I'm pretty sure that it has failed because the last time I had this thing going, it was super creamy. That's not something that I wanna be running through my turbo. This already popped off earlier. Doesn't look like it's too bad underneath of that. I've seen a lot worse. You can see here like it's it's a little bit discolored, but this engine was like, I don't know, almost like 200,000 or something. So it really wasn't that much. But anyways, I'm going to take this off i'm gonna try actually to take the head off without actually removing the cams nope. pretty much every time that i've done something where i needed to take the head off i've taken the cams out as well just because i needed to do something else inside there like valve stem seals or something like if i can get my hands on a three-quarter impact gun tonight then i'll take the crank pulley off if i can't then i'm not going to mess with it i'm not going to take off anything that i don't need to take off because this engine is just the 2.5 liter it's small and i just want to fix it just so that i I can turbocharge it, tune it, put it back in the car. That's it. I, I, I just want a car to drive for right now. So this is the order of business for now. Not 
not sure if you saw that, but this is the very reason why I need to change the head gasket because that is oil. Oil should not be like that. Oil should be black. That's why I'm doing that. So that's just confirmation. I second guessed myself at first because I haven't touched this engine for a long time. That just confirms what I'm doing. So that's good news. top dead center you can see cylinder one right there and cylinder six and this head gasket here has a couple suspect spots one of them is where there is some actual corrosion built up right here you can see that so that's not good also in these areas where you see a little bit of the oil and coolant mix you can see on that so part oil part coolant right so it's not supposed to be like that it's either one or the other right so when you have your water veins they're supposed to be water oil or supposed to be oil that's it couple suspect spots right so like here see for example that water jacket there is just supposed to be water right and oil is just supposed to be oil but they have some mix going on and so this is going to have to get cleaned out. I'm going to blow that out with some compressed air so I don't score the cylinders. And just clean this up a little bit with some brake cleaner. And we're going to need a new head gasket, obviously. And I'm going to flip this thing over before I go home. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go home for tonight and then I'm going to continue this for the next day. Um, but tomorrow, I need a three-quarter gun and I don't have one. So I'm going to get that crank pulley off and then flip this engine over, drain it completely. And then I'm going to take the oil pan off. From the oil pan, I can get at the oil oil pump and the oil pump I want to do an oil nut tie down so that it doesn't back out when I'm in boost on this thing so that's gonna be something I'll have to order it's literally only like a couple bucks from like ecstuning.com or whatever yeah so I'm gonna take the oil pan off and then I'm gonna get this janky looking drain line off and actually do that properly before I did it when it was in the car and it was kind of like a half job like it just was crap you know so I'm gonna fix that and there's a couple things I'll have to replace here like pretty sure I got to do a rear main seal as well but basically this is not like I'm not building this engine I'm just repairing what's wrong with it I'm gonna check both decks so the the head deck and the block deck with a straight edge and I'm just gonna see if it's warped in any kind of way if it's warped I have to machine it machining is not good I don't want to machine it if I don't have to but if I have to then I have to so it's whatever all right so I got the head off I got the engine flipped upside down I just spent like 20 minutes cleaning up my floor because all the coolant and oil went everywhere so that's all right, but I got this upside down. So tomorrow I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna get going on taking this oil pan off. And it looks like here, I don't know what is leaking here. If it's a seal in the transfer case or if it is the axle seal or if it is the oil pan itself, but I'm gonna figure all that stuff out and get some more fluid in this thing. I'm gonna drain that out tomorrow. I'm not gonna do that now because I don't want to, but yeah, I'm gonna pop this off, drain it out, pop that off to fill it. So that's what's going on right now tomorrow's a new day for you guys it will be same video but just going to pack my things up and head out for the night so we'll be back first thing tomorrow just like that and we're back about pretty much five days later and we're getting back at this m54 here so i'm gonna start i'm gonna start taking off the housing for the ac pump get that out of the way the crank bolt i actually loosened it with the three-quarter gun that i had to borrow the other day so that is 
finger tight right now so I'm gonna be able to get that crank pulley off and then I'm gonna get the oil pan off as well and then I've also decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the oil pan off and I'm actually gonna take the crankshaft out and I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do here because I want to be able to make this engine as reliable as I can with as much boost as I plan to run on this thing but I also have the option of basically making this into a 3 liter engine because in the meantime while I'm building my 3 liter engine the one in the back there everything bolts up the same way so the crankshaft and the pistons and the rods and everything everything bolts up and the displacement difference between a 2.5 liter and a 3 liter it's in the swing of the crankshaft and the length of the connecting rods so I'm not sure if it's the position of the pins as well that I'm not sure but as far as I know basically you can interchange these parts and make a 2.5 liter into a 3 liter so I'm considering doing that but for now pistons have to come out anyways if that's the case I have six pistons up on the shelf that were from the 3 liter so either way I'm gonna see what I'm gonna use but in the meantime right now I'm just gonna take this part and get it ready to make those decisions guys so here we are right now I have the pistons out got the crankshaft out got the bearings of the journals and off the pistons themselves off the connecting rods I have these draining here because they're filled with oil I'm gonna let them sit there so those are b25 pistons I'm almost dead certain that like the pistons are not the variable in the displacement difference between the 2.5 liter and the 3 liter so what I'm going to do is because I know 100% the bore is 84 millimeters so it's it, everything's the same with the bore of the thing I'm going to take the pistons from the three liter which are up on the shelf up there somewhere I think in that yellow bag and I'm gonna take those I'm gonna put the rings on those ones or on these ones it doesn't really matter I guess but likely if I'm changing the rotating assembly which being the crankshaft which this is the b31 right in there so that crankshaft there will likely go in this engine for now what I'm going to do is do this to 2.5 liter as a medium build right now for about I'm looking for 450 around there kind of 450 wheel horsepower so that being said I can put the crankshaft in there pistons with gapped rings for the amount of boost that I want to run what I'm going to do is just do a oil nut tie down which the oil pump is right here so the oil nut likes to back out when you push more horsepower in the thing so there's a wire uh, nut that will go on this thing and it ties to the sprocket so it doesn't back out so I'm gonna get that I'm gonna do the stronger head studs, some ARP ones, just to keep the head and the block from splitting from each other once I put some more boost into it. Basically from that, there's not much more that I'm going to do once the engine's built, which it's not gonna take long to do this. Like I just have to order some parts like head gasket, timing chain kit, and then like an oil pan gasket, front main seal, rear main seal gaskets. And then I'm going to use the three liter throttle body and three liter manifold. This is all kind of the plan for now, but things may 
change as we go along. But regardless, I'm at a standstill right now. Everything is out and disassembled for what I need off. Like I left the alternator and the oil filter housing and power steering reservoir and all that because it doesn't need to come off. I don't care. I don't want to do more work than I need to. With that being said, everything that I need to do is basically in a process of ordering parts now. So when this is rebuilt, hopefully in a couple weeks, then this engine can get put back together. And then after that, I want to build a methanol kit so then I can actually run more boost than I had intended originally. But that's after the fact. That's seeing if like if the budget will permit that. But this is all being done in the meantime because I want something that's still fast, but I don't have all the money to build this three liter engine right now. So I'm going to work on this 2.5 liter for now. And like I said, with the displacement, with the pistons connecting rods and the crankshaft, I might end up building a three liter on this thing anyways. So we'll see about that. But anyways, with that being said, this is the end of this video. If you like that video, definitely hit that subscribe button because this process, I know it's been kind of repetitive with taking this engine apart and now we're taking this engine apart, but this one will get back together a lot quicker than this one right here. So that being said, definitely hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. Let me know that you did enjoy this video. Hit me up in the comment section below. If you have questions about this disassembly, I can definitely help you. Ask them in the comments below. Or if your question requires a lengthy answer, then hit us up on our Discord server and our WhatsApp server. The link is in the description and we'll see you in the next one. See you later.